All right, it is finally time for us to do our Rickert summons. I've been holding off because I didn't want to not do it on video, uh, but I just haven't really had time to make the video. So we're finally going to get our copy of him today. Hopefully we'll get a couple, but I do have orbs set aside, so we're probably just going to bring him straight up to Immortal, and then depending on how time looks for us, we may go ahead and throw some gear on him and just test him out a little bit, take him into Terra, and uh, and see what we've got going on with him. All right, so let's go ahead and jump. Oh, real quick, before I before I do the summons, real quick, I keep forgetting to mention this. We are short like nine or ten members right now. Uh, if you are looking for a guild and you want to join us, uh, there's the info right there. It's Tall Dwarf. You can see the ID without me moving. Uh, it's I w I'm on NA10, so I think everything from NA1 through 10 can join. I don't know if they've grouped servers together in a different way or or what's changed, but we we need nine more members. So if you want to hop in, just shoot me an app. Uh, there's no real power recommendation or, or, or requirement, but be active because after two days, I'm going to bump you. That's generally how that works. Uh, so just be active and, and generally progressing, and that, that's fine. We're not, I'm not trying to like recruit all the, the strongest players or anything, but uh, you know, just be active. Okay, that's it. So now let's go ahead and get to it and get these summons going. I was hoping maybe I could snag a copy of him from the Gazumo's Bell event. I did finally hit Bada, which is I think the first time I've pulled anything from one of those events on my main account <laughs> um, <laughs> without spending any money on it. But there you go. All right, so look, we want an early copy. We want to snag an early copy here. I don't need any more Mookas, I don't think. I'm pretty sure my, Mook, my Mooka's been maxed for a while. Isn't it Mooka and Bot Mark II on this banner? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure my Mooka's maxed. I don't remember if my uh, Bot Mark is maxed or not. All right, so here's gonna be our one. Can we, can we snag two? All right, there he is. I finally got a double triple S recently, and it was double from it was double Ravenna from the Valentine's Day event. One of them was pity, and the other one was just a, a bonus one in the ten pool. And I only needed one, so <laughs> the only time I've ever pulled double triple S, and I only needed one of them to max her out. So there you go. I mean, the Mook is coming in heavy today. Don't give me one. Rickert in 160. Don't do me that dirty. Give me at least one more copy. They're gonna do me dirty, dude. Okay, there's there's another copy. And two and 160. Less than ideal. Less than ideal for sure. At least we got an extra copy, but definitely not. A dream scenario. All right, let's get to it. I reckon we've got plenty of time, so we'll uh, let's get him geared up, get him evolved, get him geared up, get his talents done, and um... oh, I guess I don't need to. Uh, yeah, I guess we don't even have inherit. I guess everyone just comes in at base 240 now. All right, so let's do this. And I've been, like I said, I've been saving orbs, so we'll just get him going. I've heard good things. I haven't watched any videos on him. Whoops. I have not, obviously haven't tested him, so I don't really know much about him. I've heard a couple of, of a little bit of chatter in the Discord that uh, that he's really good, though. So I'm excited to, to test him out and see what he looks like in action. We got yellow orbs for days, dude. All right, so and that leaves us with three orbs. So we're, we're okay. All right, so there's that. Let's get his talents going. Give me my gems. I haven't even seen his animation. Pretty dope. He stole a uh, Sephiroth sword, didn't he? 
Where are you at? Right there. Let's not no, no, it's out. When casting a skill, he absorbs all the sword, sword souls. Okay. Probably max all the attack ones, I reckon. Gains half of the crit rate of allies with a sword soul. I reckon there's something to play around with there. After the displacement skill is cast, the damage of the next minor skill cast will ignore the enemy. Armor. Does that mean ignore 10% of the enemy's armor? Additional energy. That's done. Let's get his exclusive up to probably 20 for now, I reckon. Laurel or Yanny, you know? What do you see when you read it? What are we? Almost halfway to our next 30. I don't know who my next 30 is going to be. All right, so let's look at his skills real quick. Slash behind the enemy, inflicting four instances of slash damage. Each slash inflicts 320% of attack as damage. And then when casting a skill, he absorbs all soul swords. Okay. Grant one soul swords to allied assassins. When a hero with a soul sword performs a basic attack. Sword soul. I think I keep saying soul sword. Well, you, you know what I mean. Sword Soul will attack with him, inflicting 40% of his attack as damage to the enemy. Each hero can have a total of two. And then he gains half of the crit rate of allies. Okay, yeah, th this is where that gets interesting. Like, if we're going to run him with, like, Bailey, then we can take that into consideration when we build him, when we, when we build his crit rate. So I think we'll focus crit damage on him for sure. Just have to make sure we run him with other, with at least one more assassin to give him a bump in crit rate. Teleport behind the enemy with the lowest HP, then inflict 740% damage to them. And then that gets a crit damage bump as well. That is gross, dude. And then every time he absorbs a sword soul, he is healed for 8% of max HP. When he receives a fatal energy, he becomes immune to all damage. Teleports to a random assassin ally, including himself. Van absorbs all their sword souls. This effect can trigger two times per battle. Man, they they really like they really like this uh, mechanic. The fatal energy. I'm so sick of Leo, man. <laughs> I'm so ready for Leo to get changed or or to get out like a, a super hard counter that makes him less viable. I'm so tired of dealing with Leo in every arena fight. You know what I mean? Like, I hate that it just always boils down to my Leo or your Leo. That's not interesting to me. I, I do actually like it when I fight a team that doesn't have a Leo and it beats me. I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see, but I still feel like Leo is like overwhelmingly annoying right now. All right, so I reckon we're just gonna go like pure damage. Um, you know? So let's see what kind of options we got here. I mean, those substats are just awful. Just gross and awful and dumb. What, a, what an ugly bunch of gear, man. Farming gear every single day. Every day I do at least one one full 10 run in Disa. And I just feel like the drops have just been atrocious lately, man. Yeah, that's, that's just all real gross. 
but I do want good damage on him. I guess we'll go with these. Let me see. Maybe I sneak a hero set in there. Let's let's take a look at uh, what we've got going on here. See, like we had an opportunity for that to be good, but it's just not. All right, let's 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 look at hero. That's got potential. All three of those have potential. Let's see what they do. Just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Again, gross makes me wish I was dead. That's how bad it is. <laughs> We avoided crit rate on all three. Three in a row. <coughs> Completely managed to avoid crit rate across the board. Suck my balls, dude. What a load of shit. Um, so we don't have, that's the best it's gonna get, I guess. That has an attack sub. 2.9, 3.2 with attack. I guess, I guess, I guess that. And then here, let's see what we got. No free ones. All right, so overload it is. Perhaps Sun Signet. I guess we can take a look. Again, just, just a bunch of garbage. I'm getting real annoyed at my gear situation, given how much gear I farm. All right, I don't think any of those are really that good either. So I guess we will just finish the overload set. Mm. Now we need to finish this hero set. So let's see what we've got. Crit rate with an attack. There's crit rate and attack, so a little bit of potential. What we do double crit rate with a flat attack. Well, th that's probably a, a good one. It's probably a safe one. Still kind of low on the crit rate, though. I guess we can take a look at Sun Signet. I know he's going to get a bump from like running him with Bailey, but there's crit rate. Crit rate. Crit rate, crit damage. Don't be, don't be dirty. Don't be dirty. We're due. We're due some good rolls. Double crit damage, I guess. We have so little crit rate. We, we need a good crit rate roll on these. And we have, what, one opportunity? Jeez, bro. Alright. Oh, the tank stats on my damage gear. It's so annoying, man. I've done a lot of this off camera, too, so if I seem, like, more annoyed than it seems like I should about this, it's because this has been the trend for, like, three weeks. I just could not get good rolls. When, when, when I was newer and rolling the gear that I was getting, I've got a lot of triples from, like, the first few weeks I played where I started getting white gear. Uh, the gear rolled way better and dropped way better, and I'm, I don't I don't know that I necessarily think it's been changed or anything, but it's just I'm on a real bad streak. I've tried uh, smelting gear. I don't get anything good from that. I've just been in a real gear drought lately, both in drops and in quality of the rolls. Just not been a good time. There's like no good piece, really. So what's that? That puts us at 37. That's just not a good build. I I guess what we can try is I can go crit rate on the gloves and then just really go in on overload sets. <sighs> or hero sets. No. Man. He's just not going to get a very good build, I guess, to start things off. I'm going to have to switch him to crit. I need him critting sometimes, you know what I mean? So let's swap one of these. And let's look for crit damage in the subs, I think. 
Increase crit rate, crit damage, double crit rate. Potential, potential. That could be a good one. As long as we don't hit that fourth sub a bunch. <laughs> oh, me. All right, double crit damage. We'll take that. So there's that, and then now this needs to be overload. Double attack. All those have potential for crit damage. Let's roll them up and see what they do. Single. Single. Double, all right. And then we'll roll the last one just cause. All right, we got a double in there somewhere. That's a little bit better. The crit damage is a little lower than I would like it to be. It's not a great build, but again, he's get, kind of getting left. I'm trying not to pull gear off of anyone to test him. And like I said, we've been in a pretty bad gear drop lately. So either way, let's jump into, I think, Terra. Let's see if we speed up our Terra run, putting him in. Let's drop probably... Mooka? throw him in and let's give him the attack bump in the back line and I guess we'll throw Daniel front and let Rez target whoever he wants to target um, why do I have chaos chip in yeah okay all right let's see let's see I think my best run in here right now is 108 or 109 something like that so let's see if we beat our best time with him now Oh, he out here trying to hang with Bailey. My Bailey has much better gear than he has, to be fair. Holy shit, man. We're usually at this point, like, if we, if we get him to here at like 310... What? Yo! That's crazy! Jesus Christ, dude! That's wild. We got lucky, I think, tying him up in his animation for a second. 30. Man, that's wild. All right, 37. Let's try him in here. I haven't been able to clear six yet. Let's drop Mooka. I guess we could try to run the exact same team we ran in Terra. I don't know if that works, though, the same way. But we had Rickert. We had Rez. And then who else was it? That team was Bailey, Rickert, Masrani, Rez. I don't remember who the other champ was. Son of a bitch. I don't want to back out and go look. Daniel. It was Daniel. And I think I had him up front. I just want to see what it looks like. We'll do the same thing we did in there. And why not? Let's give him the bump. I just want to see what it looks like in here. I don't reckon I have high expectations of it performing the same exact way, but I just want to see what happens. Man, that, 
God damn it. City is doubling, tripling Bailey's damage. We lost Rickert, which is not great. But I think maybe if we drop... I think if we drop Daniel, maybe. Um, if we drop Daniel, potentially for, for other heals, I think maybe that could be decent. Other heals or... We'll play around. Maybe we drop Rez at some point too. I'll throw Serena up front. Let's see if the second heals keep us alive. I don't think we need any more damage besides Rickard and Bailey. I think they're gonna more than square us away on damage. So at this point, I think it's a matter of like just keeping the two of them alive. Rez focuses Rickert with his ult. He just one shots that thing. Yeah, if we get those if we get those dudes out of there quick. Yeah, and then I think that that sets us up well for success. They're the, I think they're the problem more more than the boss is. We're like with those limited cards are within our grasp. Get some good ults. I mean, slightly better gear on him. And we get those limited cards. Look at his damage, dude. Holy cow. So yeah, I mean, some some mild upgrades to him, and we get those limited cards. Dude, he is ridiculous, man. He's gonna be nice for Twilight Lands as well. All right, man, yeah, he's really dope. He's gonna be fun to, to do to, to try some more stuff out with. See what we can do with him in arena as well. I think I've used all my arena fights for today, but um, we, we we're probably going to play around with him a bit in arena also. He is a lot of fun. What's he get at 30? What's he get at 30? Enhance limits. Go for every two. Absorb. Wait, what's his ult do currently? For every three. Absorbed. Oh, it reduces. Okay. He's a lot of fun, man. Crazy, crazy strong. Uh, I, definitely a sing. I think I don't think he has any AOE capability, which is where Bailey will also be great in Bailey's own right. But as far as single target damage, I don't think <laughs> there's anyone touching him right now. That's wild, which is nice. I'm glad Bailey needed some competition. We Assassin, I think, was the next class that we needed a little bit more diversity on. Uh, one, because Bailey's kind of hard to get. Aside from the Valentine's Day event, Bailey's kind of hard to get. There's not really a killer option for other assassins. Rakana and 
Randall, you know, they're not really so great. So it's nice that there's a, an accessible uh, assassin now. So yeah, he's he's really, really dope, man. That terror run <laughs> was insane. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna dig around in my gear a little bit. I might rearrange some, some gear, pull some off of someone I'm not using as much and prioritize getting some of my higher quality gear on him. And uh, maybe we'll do a part two of this with an upgraded version of him and, and see what all we can accomplish. As he's he's pretty bonkers, man, so. Uh, that's it, I guess I'm, uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you're finding him, if you've got him and you got him up to Immortal and stuff. What do you think about him so far? Uh, he's That's a pretty big impact on my account. It'll be interesting to try him out in Storyline as well. Uh, a 37 second terror run is kind of bonkers and we'll get those limited cards from that other, other dungeon possibly by the end of the day. So either way, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Appreciate y'all. Hope you have a good one. Later.